Many people look to Chris Coons for somebody that would broker some type of deal. Senator Chris Coons joins us right now. Senator, that Republican congressman was a little down about the prospects, about the negotiation because yeah. of what he saw. Is he right? Well, I know uh, Congressman Graves well. I don't know if he's accurately portraying the opening position of Democrats on that committee, because as you said, Brian, I'm not on it. But I would pay attention to Nita Lowy, a seasoned senior appropriator uh, from New York, who is one of the top Democrats on this committee, uh, who said that everything is on the table. The government has been reopened. We should be having um, a wide open negotiation about how much money to invest in border security, for what types of technologies, and what would be the smart use of those investments to help secure our southern border. Have you been convinced, because you know this issue, have you been convinced that a barrier, uh, sophisticated fences, a barrier uh, would be effective, like in the major cities where most experts say they belong? Well, as you well know, Brian, um, we've got 700 miles of barrier right now. Um, there are places where that's made a big difference in the dramatic reduction uh, of, of flow into our country from Mexico. Uh, and so there are places where that's been effective and we're upgrading it with modern technology and surveillance uh, would make it stronger and more effective. So uh, I wouldn't rule that out. Uh, I'm one of many Democrats who have voted to strengthen border security. A lot of this difference or this fight has been between the president's rhetoric about a great big wall and the reality um, that the professionals, the leaders in CBP and DHS mm -hmm. and many Democrats and Republicans agree right. we can strengthen border security with modern technology. They came up with the 5.7 because they said in a 234 miles and they said exactly where it's going to go. If you see that map and Democrats see that map, would they be open to doing what the president says experts have told him we need? Well, remember, I'm just speaking for myself here, Brian. Um, I would be open to a process where you've got experts de deciding exactly where it's going to go. There was a disappointing, a big gap between what the president said when he gave an Oval Office speech, I think it was a week ago Saturday, and the paper that actually came over to the Senate. There were lots of other issues embedded in there about changing uh, asylum rules. As long as what we see on paper reflects that kind of um, mm -hmm professional, independent analysis of where we can best invest these dollars. Border security is something that I and all Democrats uh, who I work with in the Senate um, agree we should invest more in. Right. I mean, you both could say you got they could say they got the barrier and you could say we, we talked them off the cement wall and it could be yep. a win win. That's sort of why I'm here. Try and help make things like that happen, Brian. All right, Senator, thanks so much. You might have to step in if things break down because we got 17 days to another uh, shutdown or another uh, we problem. Do. And you nobody needs another shutdown. Thank you, you, Brian. Senator Chris Coons, thank you. Meanwhile, straight ahead, it's the big story we've been talking about all morning. The controversial new abortion bill in Virginia. The lawmaker who called out his Democratic colleague joins us live next. <laughs> 